Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best push-up to get a bigger chest. Now, before we go into the push-ups, you first have to understand what the actions of the chest muscles are so that you are able to understand how to get a full contraction of the chest so that you recruit more muscle fibers and in return, get a stronger, bigger chest. So the actions of the chest muscles are three. We have arm flexion. We have internal rotation of the arms where the arms are being rotated inward or the thumbs are going in and then we have horizontal adduction where the arms are cr coming across the chest like that and the problem with a lot of push-ups and different chest exercises is that they don't incorporate all those different actions into the same exercise and for that reason you don't get a full contraction so let's look at the push-up for example when you do a push-up you're on your hands you get the arm flexion however there's no horizontal adduction of the arms because of the fixed position of the hands. The same thing goes with the bench press. You're, in, you're on the bench, you push up, you can't bring your arms in. And then you might be saying, well, what if I do dumbbells or what if I do the push-ups where my hands are sliding in? Well, you do increase the range of motion when you do that. When you either use dumbbells, you're coming in, you get a bigger squeeze. However, when you come to the middle here, there's no resistance pulling your arms out. There's no resisted adduction. So when you do this, when you do this movement, most of the force is going down. Gravity, or, or depending on what you're doing, it's going down if you're on a bench press, it's going the opposite direction if you're doing a push-up because the weight is on top of you, not coming from, from the side. So you, you don't have any resistance bringing the arms in. If I were to do a push-up, a sliding push-up, so for example, let's say I have sliders here. If I bring them in, I can stay in this position here for a very long period of time because my arms aren't being pulled out. There's no horizontal resistance, okay? So for that reason, even if you're doing a dumbbell bench press, you're not getting any resistance pulling your arms outward. So you're not getting that full contraction in the middle, okay? And now with cables, we flip it. With cables, if you're doing a cable fly or dumbbell fly, you're getting the resistance from the outside in, but you're not getting that resistance pushing out. And for that reason, this is the setup that I have here. These are rings. I attach the rings to my pull-up bar, and then I added a resistance band to the outside of the rings. And the reason I added this is because this is going to allow me to get a full contraction of the chest. Not, not only am I going up against gravity and my body weight, but then when I come in, I have the resistance bands. As I pull the resistance band in, it gets tighter, so it forces me to keep contracting my chest all the way throughout the whole range of motion. And when you have more muscle fibers being recruited, you're gonna get a stronger chest, bigger chest, and it's just gonna be an overall better push-up. So let me show you what I mean. So not only do we have uh, to fight the resistance from gravity and the bands, but I also have to fight the instability of the rings when I do this. So I start in the position here, I go down. So we have arm flexion. We're going against resistance, against gravity, arm flexion, and then I have to bring this in against the resistance of the band. So the bands, if I don't recruit my muscle fibers here to squeeze my chest, then this is gonna pull my arms out. So you see the difference there between a push-up. Push-up, you're just doing this, there's no resistance coming in. And even if I, if I were to do a sliding push-up, there's still no resistance pulling my arms out. It's just me squeezing my chest muscles a little bit harder. But this forces you to contract your chest muscles throughout the whole exercise. I'm going against resistance up and in. So you get a full chest contraction. So it's a very easy setup to do. Hang the rings, attach a cable to the side of the ring, and then just anchor it down. I have it anchored down with a dumbbell. And the good thing about this type of push-up is that you can always make it harder. You can add three seconds to the eccentric contraction going down slower. So you slow down the tempo to make it harder. You can wear a, vape, a weight vest to make yourself heavier. You can do it in a way where your legs are higher than the rings. Uh, you can put them on a bench and that way you're doing more of an incline type of push-up, which puts more of the weight on the side of the rings. And uh, there's just so many different ways to make it harder, more challenging so that you can continue to, to add progressive overload to the exercise. So I hope you liked the information in this video. Now you understand that in order to get a full contraction, you have to have 
that arm flexion and adduction with resistance. That's the key. Those motions have to have resistance throughout the whole exercise in order to get the most fiber recruitment, a full contraction of the chest, and that's gonna allow you to get stronger and a bigger chest. Let me know your comments and questions down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.